Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved in thy house. I knew that coming into this trip, I would be referring to that verse scores of times, and I had. Romans 6.23, Ephesians 2.8 and 9, Titus 1.2, John 3.16, John 3.36, John 1.12, etc., etc. These verses that prove salvation is by faith alone. And once you're saved, you're always saved. The world has been blinded by a lie from the devil that salvation is something we can earn by living a good life. Not realizing that that is just as silly as trying to pay for a brand new Rolls Royce for two dollars. God is offering us a gift and that was so expensive that it cost the life of his dear son and everyone is trying to give him two dollars of their good works for it. Coming from a place that is rapidly walking away from the things of God, the trip to the Bahamas was so refreshing. It's a country that loves and respects the Bible. There were many times when I had to stop even the busiest person on the street to give them a handout. Most of them would stop their tracks, smile at me, and would want to talk about the Bible. It's better in the Bahamas because they love the Bible. And the whole country is God-loving country, but they're not saved. They can quote to me John 3.16, but they don't know what it means. So that's why we came. Not to talk down to California, it's home, and I love living here. And I thank God for it, but if we're being honest, most people in this state do not know the God of the Bible. And that's the reason why this state is on a downward spiral to hell as we know it. I love soul winning. I'm a soul winner by choice. I'm a soul winner by conviction. These days, I'm even a soul winner by convenience. Years ago, I made a decision that this is who I'm going to be, so it would not matter where I'm at. I would go soul winning anywhere and everywhere. But as much as I love soul winning, this trip was necessary. Physically, emotionally, and spiritually speaking, everyone gets to a point where they're just tired. So the best thing a person needs to do sometimes is to get away. Step back from reality and find a place where you can recharge. Find a place that can remind you of that joy that you once had. Things get old, even our feelings. So it's good to, from time to time, remind ourselves of that joy. To go back to the basics. And this trip reminded me of my joy for soul winning. The joy of telling people how to be saved. The joy of telling people that they can be free in Christ. Not to use our liberty on occasion of flesh, as Paul said in the book of Galatians. But freeing people from the fear of hell and the bond of sins. Having that power gives a joy that only a soul winner can have. The mission mindset caught me off guard as there were some key differences in how missions were done on this trip and how it is in the States. I was pleasantly surprised with everyone's demeanor. Anywhere and everywhere, they ceased not to teach and preach 
Jesus Christ. My group came in a day late, so we had to figure out and adjust with how everyone is doing their thing. I'm a people watcher, that's how I always learn and will always pattern myself to how everyone is tackling whatever task they're doing. So that's what I did. The main difference is the integration of soul winning to everything else. It didn't matter the time, it didn't matter the location. You could be at lunchtime at a mall, or lunchtime at a house, or in the morning at a school, or at night at some grocery store. Soul winning was integrated in everything that they did. It's better in the Bahamas because of integrated soul winning. They understood that this will only last for about a week. So they're taking advantage of every minute they could to find someone to give the gospel to. I wonder if every Christian had had this mindset, could we make the world a different place? In the United States, most soul winning Baptists have adopted the weekend soul winning lifestyle. There is a designated time for soul winning, and that's when we show up, go knock doors, and preach the gospel to whoever is interested. And there's nothing wrong with that. I believe that is the best way to evangelize. But this integration of soul winning in everything is something I should really keep even back home. After all, I'm not just a part time Christian. came here to work and praise the Lord for the ability and the opportunity to work. The time felt longer because it was filled with different things and different places and different activities. But as much as we love working, we also rested. This is the Bahamas after all. The pool, the hot tub, the beach, it's definitely better in the Bahamas. Many would mock at these exploits, they'd see it as a big waste of time because where's the church that would follow up on these converts? Well, actually there is a good church there with a great man of God that actually goes door knocking attempts to share the gospel to whoever is interested. So rest assured. But even if there wasn't a good church there, would anyone with the right mind really want any of these people to just die and go to hell? The most important thing in the world is a person's soul. I can't get everyone saved, but I can get some. Whether in the States or in the Bahamas, praise the Lord when someone's destination has eternally been altered for the better. This time, it's better for some Bahamians. This week, about 60 soul winners from all over the world have come to preach the gospel to the streets, the schools, the mall, the hotels, and everyone else in Nassau, Bahamas. There were some struggles. Some didn't like what we had to say, for we have caused an uproar in their schools. That was the word that used by one teacher. More than a thousand people have heard the gospel of Jesus Christ. Not everyone believed, but... More than 90% of them have called on the name of Jesus Christ and praise the Lord for that. Better believe it. Some things are better in the Bahamas. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and